exactly what was Noor doing last episode. Last episode was actually really hype in terms of the scale of the battle portrayed through the CGI. The amount of swords and shields just launching through the sky and coming down as Nord running laps around them. Amazing. Just really goes to show like the sheer again, the scale of the army that Nord is defeating. He just parried an army. He doesn't even know what he did. The emperor is on the ground pissing his pants. His shiny gold armor all dusted. And Nor? Some people think that he might be looking for a medic. He feels bad for the Emperor, so he's running around to find a medic. It kind of sounds like what this show could be all about, but hey, let's, today's, let's start today's reaction. Party! Party! And then falling down. <laughs> He's buying them time. But he is going to have a misunderstanding about who this guy is. So like, what do you think is going on, bro? You're fighting against an enemy army. There's a guy with a golden crown and golden armor. He seems to be the king of the army. What are you going to mistake him as? Cause like him running around is basically buying time for Lin and um fucking Shield Girl to get out, but like Ines. But like, what is the misunderstanding here gonna be? Is a Sina old man? Yeah, what do you think he is, bro? He might be rich, bro. God, he's so fucking stupid. Hmm, army, shiny guy, looks very rich. Could he be the king of the- No, it can't be. Must be on the random old dude. Oh, that's what he was doing, juggling the swords, making sure they can't get the weapons. Good intuition to parry these. It's not really a parry again, he's just swinging a sword and selling parry. What do you think he is, bro? Just, you don't even, you, you straight up think he's just an old man. Because it's uncommon for an old man to be in the battlefield. No, I don't believe this logic. This is such fucking poor fucking reasoning as to why Nor can't believe he's the king of the fucking, the emperor of the army. That's right. Better juggle it again. Putty! And he's back again. Have they met? Have they met in the past? I don't remember. He does recognize the sword though. Yeah, through the magnifying glass, right? basically just the premise of this show. This, this guy does not think, and anytime he does, it's even more stupid than you would have imagined. Putty! 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 She's trying to take care of you, I think. Yes. The sinner to smile with the shading on your face? This is gonna reassure him? <laughs> Oh, he got the message all right. Not the one you wanted, though. What's going on? Looks like so. Damn, he's coughing up blood? Enes Lin, help out! Here we go! Who is this? Arrow Sovereign? Bow Sovereign? <gasps> Van Austria! Land Sovereign! Now you show up. 
Krill beer. <laughs> Krill beer. <laughs> Sword Sovereign. Yeah, he just took care of the army for you guys. What do you mean the rest? The entire army has been parried. Now you fuckers show up to take his credit at the end? That's some bullshit, bro. Straight up, these sovereigns were just isolated. They couldn't get together in time. It took them this long to finally get here. And now you're going to fucking take all the credit, bro. Just take the fucking scraps and fuck off. There it is. Clean up. At least he's very self-aware. I think you've surpassed him. Does he remember Nor? Because Enes is quote unquote father. He remembers Nor. I wonder if this guy does though. Has there been any signs that he does recognize him from the past? But you know, his simple swing of pairing, I think, is exceeding whatever that was though. <sighs> the priest guy. If you think about it, Nor has surpassed every single one of these people, right? Because this priest guy, remember him? What was his thing? It was like, even only like, th even this guy couldn't like overcome that level of poison shit. It's something about like only like a sage of priest could like, attain like a body that can like be that uh, uh, resilient or good against poison. Remember that episode with the fucking frog? That was an example of when we basically like matched or surpassed him. This guy, we matched or surpassed him with the low, like a small firebolt, right? Small firebolt is when we surpass this guy. Yeah, just the fundamental stuff. What? Missing limbs? At oh. Okay. Easy. <laughs> oh, this guy's a bit sadistic. <laughs> He's like, hey, what? Hey, you want to keep torturing and I, I, you keep healing them back? This guy's sus, bro. Okay. They. They. Enes' quote-unquote father and them. Finally you guys show up. Jesus Christ. I love this soundtrack though. My favorite soundtrack of the show. Damn. What are y'all doing? Healing? Make them turn over a new leaf sounds very sinister. When this guy just looks like this and he just talked about how he was down to just heal their limbs over and over again. Yeah, small fire guy. The poison shit, remember? And this guy already like just thinks of Nor like as his son. Not really, but he glazes Nor more than Ines, that's for sure. Do they all remember him though? They do! ありがとう、アリー。本当に大丈夫なのですかもう少し休まれては。あ、さすがに腹は減ったが。繊維の尋問で指揮官が口を襲ったマリウヤ魔物も含む。Let's <笑> Decrepit old fogey says the other decrepit old fogey. <laughs> this is true. He's a fucking fraudulent ruler. <laughs> that GG <laughs> must be losing his marvel. I don't know. It's funny when another old, really old guy is shitting on another old guy for being a geezer, right? It's just like, GG, have you looked at yourself? <laughs> the emperor, I let him go. <laughs> とても目立っていた。馬に金ピカ。あれはなかなか幅広いスキルを付与できる優秀な装備じゃ。イクイプメント。ガット。しかし全身金ピカとは、あやつらしい趣味の悪い。フランボイエント。
It's all gold decked out. Normal means. Nor can run at the speed of light, apparently, though. Fuck it. Nor can run and catch up, I think, right? Yeah, nor can fly, kind of. Yeah. Just parry them. Just fucking send them. Putty! And then the geezers can all fucking fly, bro. The Lin wind magic in the back. It's still alive. Dragon. The dragon. Use the drag. Yes! Let's ride the dragon now? Catch up to the emperor? And just breathe down fire on the empire too. So like... I don't get this part. The empire... This is the empire's dragon, right? It was sent by the empire. Right? And it went and fucked up the, our kingdom. And then they shot the dragon down. Why? Because they're scared that the dragon would attack them? Do they have not total control over it? Like, like the empire woke it up. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. It's a random dragon that couldn't save by magic. Like I so the reason I'm asking these questions is because I'm trying to like take some other elements in animes, such as dragons existing, and apply it to ReZero. Because I'm trying to think about the fucking great dragon from Lugunika Kingdom and the relationship there. No, 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 let me cook. The Empire woke up the dragon to unleash its terror onto the kingdom. Why did we have the dragon? Did we also do a similar thing? But the dragon is helping us. Like, I'm trying to think of, like, why do we ever need the covenant with the dragon in the kingdom of Lagunica? What kind of event would have created a necessity to create a covenant unless that was always happening? Because it seems like a dragon is, like, a last desperate measure of hopes to help it out, right? It's saying, please help us overcome this thing. So I'm thinking from, like, reasonable historical context of, like, why the fuck was a dragon there? And if the Empire just simply used this dragon to take down a different kingdom, in ReZero history, was it the same shit? Of like, we wanted the pact with the dragon, the covenant with the dragon, to fuck someone else up? Like, like I'm trying to relate different dragons and this kind of story themes and tie it to ReZero. Yeah, yes, literally. Yeah. I want North to show him little fire, small fire, and show him how big it can be. Yeah, you look looking like you're you're losing your mind, you fucking geezer. You can't even remember him, and you calling the other emperor fucking senile. <laughs> what do you say? Wait, wait, wait. You're still alive and well, geezer. Alright. <laughs> He's got the Philosopher's Stone. I mean, it's pretty much our pet at this point. It loves Noor, I think. <laughs> this geezer is hilarious. Loki, he might be the funniest character in this show. He's just carrying today's episode so far. <laughs><笑><笑> I don't know. Do we even need Rolo? Because it's submitted to Nor. It should listen to Nor. It's angry. Yeah. How do you know it's angry? What the fuck does that mean? It means that you live near this dragon? Because like... There's something secret about this guy, about how he lived in the mountains, and there was like a barrier that he was not allowed to cross, remember? 
There's something special about Nor. No, memes aside, this is not like a stupid joke. Like, his whole existence of being isolated in the mountains and not being able to leave the barrier, I think there's something important there. Let's go get the Empire. Yeah, Nor is master. Nor is master. Okay. You are the dragon's master. これが巻き込んでしまった泥を行かせて言い出した本人がいいかないという。あったか。でも、もう。うん。分かった。ありがとうございます。先生がいらっしゃれば100人引きです。More than Oh yeah, everything is concealed for enemies. These are stone cage? What is the stone cage? Important lore? Oh shit! Giga Chat King! Nah, that's what caused us to live. Here we go. Only the prince is going. Mm. Nor deserves, like, something on a different level. Like, this entire kingdom is saved due to Nor multiple times now. Like, this guy... Like, he deserves, like, a national holiday. <laughs> Straight up. He's a hero at this point. CGI! Like what? He never needed a rock. Yes, they do. They all acknowledge his potential. Even though he was rejected for being bad at that one thing all this time. They do now definitely acknowledge that we were higher on our own hubris. Mm -hmm. Oh, he saw all that shit. That is a crazy scene. This is like, again, the, the absolute scale of the fucking battlefield. All these weapons and shields and contraptions going in the sky because Noor just wanted to just juggle it up before the enemy catches it again and then everyone sees this shit at a far distance. Oh yeah, it just shows how crazy this wall was. Uh, go into the mountains and swing your sword doing one thing for 14 years. Yep, that's all you gotta do. 14 years in the mountains just swinging a fucking sword and you'll come back a legend too. Like this show is so good when it's moments like this. Right? When it's... Like moments like this is when I think Perry is just fucking on point. When Perry is pissing me off, it's more of a, it's like the running gag of Nor not knowing what he's doing. I get it, that's the whole running gag. But sometimes it's more annoying than fun. But ever since like the I Perry Dragon episode, things have been just fucking hyped the entire time. And then seeing the other people that's super important in the Kingdom 2 now like acknowledge and glaze Nor, like all of this shit is just peak power fantasy, man. <laughs> Nanika 
no, no. Breath attack. Let's fucking destroy this empire right now. I think we have enough people. Yes. Honestly, we only need Noor, bro. We we straight out. And, and then the next episode is called I Parry the Empire. Oh? Is that the horse? It's the king. It's the king. Catch him! Catch his ass before he gets back in, bro! We can do it! <laughs> Quick! <laughs> Don't give up! No, 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 we can do it! Alright, let's go. Enos, also, what the fuck is with Noor right now? <laughs> Look at Noor's face. I don't know what he's doing right now, but Enos may... I've been hating on Enos, and I think I've been right to hate on Enos. She's been an absolute fucking bitch the entire time. But now, hold up, let her cook. <laughs> I am down, Ines. Oh, Don't hold back. <laughs> Remember her thing? They literally said she's a shield sovereign, but then she changed the shield into a sword, and then other people commented, she's actually so good, she might as well be also the sword sovereign, bro. She is basically two in one. Breath attack! Did he do something there? I think he did. That was him. I'm not exactly sure what that was. But yeah. But at that distance? How? He's got short daggers, you know? That was a ranged attack. It was a ranged attack. More! More! Now fuck him up more! Susume! Yes! All the way in! They came here, fucked up our kingdom. Nah. Eye for an eye, blood with blood. I am not here to be a fucking moralist thinking we take the high ground. Destroy this empire. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm excited to see exactly how the prince fights because we haven't seen him in action yet, but the people we have right now are kind of crazy. Yeah. <laughs> what's, what's he doing? He's been holding this pose the entire time. Is he just like. It's going too fast, and he's just like, oh my god, is this like air sickness? What is this shit? <laughs> no, I think he's scared of heights or some shit, right? Probably, right? Uh, is he passed out? I'm not sure. Very serious. Passed out, bro. Nor, are you there? No, he's not there. I parry the Emperor's authority, and you know what? Bro, ever since again, the I Parry Dragon episode, I love this show. Before it, it was kind of suffocating and the jokes were not hitting. But like, goddamn, it's just the pacing right now is on another fucking level. I parried a dragon and we parried an entire fucking empire. And now we're about to, sorry, an army. And now we're literally about to fucking parry an empire, man. I think Noor has, you know, a scared of heights, right? A fear of heights, he can't really parry that. But we're going in there to fuck them up. We have everyone we need. One of the most interesting guys so far is the cleric guy, right? The healing guy is very suspicious. Based on the thief guy and saying, you know, uh, the, the thief guy seems more nice than the, the healer guy. So this guy, just keep a, keep a, keep a note of him, man. So right now, what are we doing? Uh, it turns out that Noor simply wanted to juggle the swords and shields to make sure no one was getting it. Everyone saw that. They were all hyped about it. The Emperor was just an old man. All the different sovereigns show up and finally realizes 
the greatness of Nora and how much hubris they had by rejecting him in, in the past. But as a kid, he did kind of suck, but all the training has led him to be an actual fucking local legend. And we're going to the Empire right now to fuck him up. Ines has been doing amazing too. This is making me love Ines way more now. Before, she sucked, but this is way more likable. And next episode, I truly hope that we parry an Empire and that's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.